Yep. It was Celeste. Ah, so I'm the suspicious individual now, am I? <laughs> I really do hate this kind of joke. A joke? I wonder. So what you are saying, then, is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him, that I would go within ten feet of that shit from brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! A cold cool in the Dracula! Uh, ah, uh, pardonnez-moi. Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Is that so? It is. It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. Yes, because they both claim to see Justice Robo moving around. But we... Yep. The pain were hidden in Hifumi's pants now. You saw the suspicious individual, but we shall clarify, don't exist! The behavior they had in common has to do with the suspicious individual in the suit, doesn't it? The only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and Hifumi. Shush, the adults are talking now. Sorry. Why you As he said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Are you saying everything they told us was a lie? So get us killed, After yes. After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? So shell, something moving around the top of the stairs. We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. Next, to draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor, she let out a blood-curdling scream. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Once she'd done her job of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. Ooh, yeah! Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been Hifumi. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. It was to get us to divide into two groups. So that we would discover both bodies at the same time? In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. Then why don't we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. I'll let the Makoto and Hina you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individuals Togo, Yakuya, and Sakura. Well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. They do! And on top of that, that piercing cry was <laughs> early on. <laughs> that was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? It was your way of telling him, we are on the third floor, everything's going according to plan. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? <laughs> uh. I just realized another strange thing. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. I certainly was not expecting this. It meant that it would be murdered. Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. I, I don't believe it. Everything. The whole thing was one big act. Concocted Here, by a person. You were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. Bingo! Then that was... She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? I have no idea what you mean. Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Oh. Did I? I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but looking back, I can say that that one little slip-up was your undoing. 
What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the son of us standing around frightened and confused. We are going to, we are going to die here. We will die just like those guys died. I remember her saying that too, but I don't understand what's so strange about it. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being I didn't dead. even catch that! Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. She you knew that, that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? Don't say that this comment doesn't make sense, why does he allude to it? To the fact that she knew about the dead bodies. All I said was... They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. We are going to die. Just like those guys, and that is all I And that's all it takes to finish this. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Remember. When she said that she should only know about her film step, but then mind what's so strange about what she said. All I said was they must really be enjoying the sight of us. You're coughing! We are all going to die here. We are going to die. Just like those guys die. No, that's wrong. It's brave of her to re- It's fun gambit to try to just repeat it. Trying to throw suspicion that way. That's right. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys died. When she said that, none of us had told her Taka was dead. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. So there was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Because Kyoko had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. <laughs> you all have such vivid imaginations, you know that? Imaginations? You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? How do you explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging Hifumi away? We have proven up! It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? So let's put the suit on. And then... Then she used the camera's timer to... To set up the picture. Have you so quickly forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit. Plus, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. Oh yeah, sure, everything else was proved. everything I told you was a lie, how can this picture exist? Yeah, sure, we proved everything else was wrong, but sure, that picture... Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? What could you possibly mean by that? What she said! Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. <coughs> no, there is no other explanation. Oh really? Other explanations? If it wasn't a picture of something trying to throw me away... The only other possibility is... I got it! It's not a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. That's certainly within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, <coughs> but the person in the robot suit. We've simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. Because of what Celeste has been saying. And the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. If you saw someone wearing something like that in this situation, 
Of course you'd notice and be suspicious. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this! <laughs> <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. Hifumi was dragging him away? Ridiculous, is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. Oh, she's about to blow, is she? So this thing she can prove there's no way. Who was dragging the suspect away? But that's pretty possible. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out. Then you just draped me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight. You tried to make me look like the bad guy! Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. Not unless the costume is designed no, to make them really stiff, as we have established! No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Because that robo-justice suit had a certain characteristic. You totally can't bend in the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious this oversight. It's not a thought, it's a feature! That's right! They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure that was a mistake. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. Oh, so that hurts. The suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> oh, she's losing it. I suppose this is checkmate. Checkmate? You lost. <laughs> you lost the game. <laughs> oh fuck, she's snapping. Don't make me laugh, you idiot. What do you mean, checkmate? That you lost. S Celeste? Her dream has activated! You want to cram me into your little guilty box? Well, there's one little problem. Oh, she can't handle it! Already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? She can't handle it! She can't handle losing! Oh, this, this feels good. I'm gonna smack you with the truth, bitch. Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right, I remember that name. Yeah, so he won. When we asked him who had attacked him, his Did answer Did you just swallow some helium? What's wrong with your voice? He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. In other words, Yasuhiro Hagakure! Right, but my name isn't really Yasuhiro. It's actually Taro. Your confusing statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasuhiro. But are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Wow! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? Didn't he use people's last name? I got it! That's right! Our last names! He called us all by our last names. Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once for So if Hifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just incidental. Hey, Celeste! Chance, he What's your real name? name? Indecent? Don't talk. Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to, and that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. <laughs> What did you just say? Your real name, sir. You think you'd take your false accusation so far? I don't know whether to laugh or spit. It's just a stage name. Enough with your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? No, because you. Do I? Yes. What? I. 
think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. You hate losing, don't you? Fill us in. What's your real name? Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? System one came up, so then I have to do something to make her accept it. Fumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name... It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? Oh, she's crying. My name is... Celestia Ludenberg, god damn it! It's upside fucking down! Wow! How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict me... Actually, we do! Show us your fucking e-handbook! It will have your real name listed! <laughs>